Hi there, I'm Oluwa Kemi. I create educational videos for both students and teachers as well as some other helpful do-it-yourself videos. And if you are watching my video for the first time, please leave a comment below, share and like. And please do click on the red subscription button. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and be educated. Hi, I'm Oluwa Kemi. I'm excited to have you here again. This is YEC Math 2019 and the question goes thus. If 7 plus Y equals 4 modulo 8, find the least value of Y if Y is equal or greater than 10, equal or less than 30. Okay, there were uh, parameters or conditions that you need to pay attention to. First, we're told that the least value of y, which means that between um, the given range of y, that is 10 to 30, y could have more than one value. Okay, let's let me just do a rough check. Let's say 15. You have the value of 15, 18, 21. So you are going to take the least, which is 15, the least of the value of y. That's what this condition is saying. Okay, so now let's quickly go to the question 7 plus y equals 4 modulo 8. Okay, what this means is that 4 is the modulo 8 residue of 7 plus y. Okay, so what that basically means is that, let me just do on the left hand side, 7 plus y, if we're divided by 8, the remainder should be 4. Okay, so what is that value that we're going to look for, which must fall between the given range 10 and 30? So let's start with 10, since it was told that it must not be less than 30, that is from 10 up, sorry, it must start from 10. So if we say 7 plus 10 to be divided by 8, 7 plus 10 is 17 divided by 8. So the remainder, 7 and 17, is going to give us a remainder of 1. So we can see that obviously we need to add up to how many before we get a 4? 3. So 10 plus 3, so we have 13. So the value that we're looking at as the first value that is going to give us a remainder of 4 is 13. So 13 plus 7 divided by 8, 13 plus 7 is 20. 20 divided by 8 is what? It's going to give us 2 remainder because we're only concerned about the remainder, the residue, 4. So the value of y that we're looking at is what? 13. Good. So the answer option B is the right answer. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.